Hey guys, so this painting's a little bit different than paintings I've done in the past. Um, this one it has a specific meaning and it was supposed to be for someone specifically and for a specific reason. Uh, when I do paintings like this, it's a lot more difficult than just painting, you know, something that I want to paint and something from my mind. Um, because the expectations I put on myself are really high. And if you've ever done a drawing for someone, um, I think you can relate. So this painting was done for Kara's grandma who recently passed away. So in this piece I had um, some subject matter that was very specific. Uh, I knew I was painting yellow roses. Um, Kara's grandma really liked yellow roses and I knew that I was going to paint birds. So I had to take those two elements and kind of incorporate them into an overall piece that had a you know specific message, I feel. But it also has to be something that you want to hang on your wall. Um, and you have to really consider the person you're painting it for when you're doing it because you know you, you can't do something that uh, they won't enjoy to look at. So yeah anyway here's the video and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm using yellow red and blue for the only colors I'm using in this entire piece um, I know I'm gonna the roses are gonna be yellow so I'm gonna go with a complementary color scheme so right here you can see I'm using purple for the branches like a purple brown and then a really blue green for the leaves and everything so those colors are complementary to yellow um, and it'll uh, kind of bring my whole color scheme together I'm not gonna get too detailed with the uh, rosebuds um, I feel like the, the roses are going to be the main focus down on the bottom left hand side of the page and I don't want the leaves or anything like that kind of competing with them, especially because they're going to be so dark. Um, so I'm just going to keep, kind of keep them simple and just do a quick wash. I do want them dark in areas though because I want to have some depth in that area. So right here I'm going to start laying down the yellow for the roses. Um, so I'm doing a wash and then I'm taking a q-tip and just pulling some of the uh, water and pigment off the ends of the petals and that's just to get a nice gradual like value change on the petals. I'm not too concerned right here with getting too much value change in the petals or anything. I just want to get a nice even wash over everything because I know I'm going to go back through and darken areas, uh, add value changes to the roses and everything later on. So, so right here I am adding some darker areas to the rose uh, petals. Uh, this is adding a little bit more red and blue into the yellow. That's how I'm getting this kind of orange color. A uh, very little blue is in there, but that'll kind of help not make it a bright orange, but more of a, like a brown yellow. So I'm doing these uh, roses in layers. Um, basically, I'm s this is uh, my second layer, and then I'll do a final layer that's really dark, um, and that's just to really give the roses dimension. And uh, I think it's really easy to do it this way. Um, I know after I do the first wash and using my pencil lines where the dark areas are going to be, where the petals really recede into the inner part of the uh, rose, that's going to be my darkest areas. So this painting was done in memory of Kara's grandma and the roses, she really liked yellow roses so I knew that was going to be a major part of this painting and I thought well the yellow roses are going to represent um, her daughters. So she had four girls, Kara's mom and her sisters. So each rose represents one of the sisters. And then I wanted to represent the grandchildren and so each rose bud represents a grandchild. So there's 12 rose buds, uh, four roses, and that was the basic concept um, behind this part of the painting. 
So right here I'm into the third layer of the uh, roses and I'm even darker so I've added more red, more blue to that kind of brown yellow color and I'm really trying to get pop, getting these petals to really stick out at you, add some darks, you know, so it just really pops out. Um, and I feel like, you know, it worked pretty good. Uh, sometimes I feel like doing this process, especially for me, can make the roses look a little bit artificial. I mean, they're not super realistic, but they definitely have dimension, which is what I was going for. So I realize I want the roses to pop even more. Um, I'm really just kind of looking at how the painting looks right now and I'm like, hey, I want these things to stick out a little bit more so I'm gonna make the background a lot darker. Um, and again, I'm using that really blue-green because it's a complementary color, complementary color to yellow. So it's really gonna make those yellow roses pop. Right here I am adding highlights using white um, and generally this could be considered frowned upon in watercolor but I don't really care. I just use the medium the way I want to. Um, I love the way this looks. Uh, it almost looks like it there it's like could be water or something but I really needed these roses to be have white parts. I feel like if it's too yellow it just doesn't look that great. So right here I realized it wasn't um, artwork because there wasn't a bird on it and uh, so I had put a bird on it but um, I wasn't quite sure how I was uh, gonna paint these birds. I just started painting and I said to myself, hey well I guess we'll see how it turns out. Um, this little guy I feel like I probably overworked a little bit. Uh, it didn't turn out too bad but uh, the next bird I do I definitely liked a lot better. There was actually a reason for doing the birds. Uh, Kara's grandma really loved birds and she had little bird paintings and pictures around her house and everything so I knew I needed to incorporate birds in this in this painting. So the birds actually represent um, Kara's grandma and grandpa. This little bird represents the grandpa and he's kind of grounded to the roses because you know he's still with us and the other bird that's going to be floating above is Kara's grandma kind of looking down and I really wanted to make sure the birds were looking at each other like from a distance so you have this negative space in between but you definitely realize there's a connection between the birds and that was something that from the very beginning when I was doing this painting that was going to be the focus of the painting is this connection between these two birds um, and that really should be the focal point I mean you realize hopefully if it's successful that these two birds um, are either yearning for each other or they have some kind of connection. So I feel like this bird was very successful watercolor and right here is where I start to ruin everything. <laughs> um, I wanted it to, I don't know what I was thinking, I was like, oh I need to do some cool washes but oh man, things got out of control real quick. So. I feel like this painting is a really good example of not giving up on a piece of work and really, you know, not realizing that just because it didn't turn out the way you originally thought it should doesn't mean you can't turn it into something that you like. And really, mistakes are what make you grow as an artist. I mean, I feel like I got to a point where I hated the painting, I did that horrible wash on it, and I just I didn't know where to go and I, was, I just kept working on it and I said hey you know what maybe I should turn this into something a little bit more lowbrow and go with a more pop culture type look so I added really dark outlines to everything I mean the branches 
like a really dark, dark purple and gave it a more comic book, I guess, type approach. And I actually really liked the way it turned out. I'm gonna do another painting uh, because this one didn't hit the mark for the person I was painting it for. I think that's really important to think about the person you're painting for um, because, you know, I mean, if I'm doing this just for me, then that's fine, but this definitely had a, a, a bigger meaning to it, and I'm going to try it again, but I actually like this painting, so I'll keep, I'll hold on to this one, and I learned a lot from this painting, and I really liked the way it turned out. Um, I feel like the connection between the birds was successful, the kind of greedy, uh, you know, background and everything works for me. I liked it. I liked the texture. Um, and I would have never gotten to this point if I didn't just keep going with it, keep experimenting. And uh, you could see that texture in the background there where the I used paper towels. <laughs> and uh, I like that. I, I just feel like this has got... Um, it turned out to be something I have never done before, which is really important. I used to ne I in the past I would have never done anything like this, so I, I liked it a lot. So the painting turned out completely different than what I thought it would, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked, subscribe, and I hope you uh, come back to watch more videos. Thanks.